Hi, I'm Nikki and welcome to my 20 minute kettlebell core workout. Okay, we're going to work together for 20 minutes. We've got 10 different exercises and we're going to do two rounds. So in theory, if you were short for time, you could just do this for 10 minutes, or if you wanted a bit longer, you could do three rounds, making it to 30. Okay, I've got two kettlebells here, just so I can vary my weight. You can also incorporate dumbbell if you've got that at home too. Okay, please make sure that you've warmed up. If you're bolting this on to another workout, that's great, but if you haven't, please just make sure you've warmed up. There is a warm up on my channel. If not, press stop, do or pause, do a warm up of your choice and come back. Okay, we're gonna work for oh, 45 seconds on, 15 second rest. We're gonna go back to back for 20 minutes. If you need longer rest periods, just press pause. Okay, remember this is your workout, you work at your level and your pace. Right, let's get ready. So let's start the timer. Okay, so we've got around the world. This is quite a good one to warm up with. So we're gonna have our feet kind of shoulder width apart. We're gonna pull that tummy and protect that back. And we're just gonna pass the kettlebell around in our body. Ready, off we go. There might be a slight difference in time between my buzzer and the clock on the screen. Just technical, technical difficulties, pressing two buttons at the same time. I'm not that, not that advanced. Okay, so stay in one direction. Try and keep it close to your body. I pull out. Right, one more. And we're going to pause it and we're going to get back the other way. Lovely. Again, go with form over speed for this one. You don't want to drop this bell. It could damage that floor quite easily or your foot, probably more importantly. Okay, next one, still standing. We're gonna take that kettlebell in that right position so my wrist is nice and straight, to rest it on my forearm. And we're gonna bring it across to the opposite leg. We're gonna switch halfway. So, across. So we're squeezing, we're working that oblique. Lovely. Superb. Okay, one more. Switch, get it into that right position. Off we go. So really crunch as you drive that knee to meet that elbow. Excellent. Works that upper body a little bit as well, this one. Okay, next one, figure of eight. So we want that stance wider, and we're going to take the kettlebell through to the hand behind. We're going to keep that chest up as we do this. So come down. Be careful of those knees. Stand 
up, do so. Flip the bell to the ceiling. My knees are hip width apart. I pull my tummy in. We're going to go round three times in each direction. So that's my third. I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to go back. Three. Lovely. Back the other way. Try and make sure you come to centre each time. You're not going super quick, staying at the top. Back the other way. It makes it that much harder because you haven't got that lower body to help give you that momentum when you're stood up. Two. Okay, face that side knee down. We're going to go into dead bugs. So, we're going to take that hustle up. We're going to have those legs in that tabletop position. We're going to push that back into the mat. And we're going to extend. And we're going to switch legs as you go. That's it, well done. If you've got lower back issues and you can't fully really extend that leg, just heel drop. Okay, you don't have to make those legs straight. Well done. Brilliant. 15 seconds. here without it, just give those arms a bit of a rest. You're going to have your hands under your bottom, your feet up to the ceiling. You're going to push up and then you're going to drop the feet, make those legs wide, tapping the heels down. Then you go back up and down. So as you come down, push that lower back into the mat. Super. Well done. Just imagine you've got a ball on those feet and you're just pushing it up with a little movement to the ceiling. Ooh. Well done. Okay, I'm going to grab my pressure butt and I'm going to place it on my left tummy. I'm going to have my heels quite close to my bottom, not touching, but quite close, and we're going to squeeze them up into that blue bridge. Ready? So squeeze and then release. Try and get a nice straight line down from your knees to your neck. Be careful not to overextend though with this one. So it's a slight pause here at the top, squeezing those glutes at the bottom. And then lower it back down. So obviously working your core here, but we're also working those glutes. Okay, next one, we've got the leg lugs. So we're going to hold the kettlebell up here. We're going to push the back into the floor and we're going to alternate those legs. Any back issues, have those knees bent and just heel tap. Okay? So, if you want to progress this, you can do single, single, then double and then bring it up. So you can do single, single and then double. If not, stay with the singles. With the double, as soon as you feel that back arch, bring those legs back up. I can't go too low on this one because I feel my back arch as I get closer towards the ground. Again, work at your level with this one. Okay, sit up press. So for this one, if you don't feel comfortable doing sit-up press, you can sit up and you can do both. 
You come up and you follow those hands behind. If not, you join me for sit up press. So, power it up, lower it down. Brilliant. We come to the end of round one. So if you want to press pause for a minute rest, do so. If not, you go straight back into the beginning. Ten seconds. Lovely, well done. So, up you come. Again, if you wish, press pause. If not, you carry on with me. And we're going to go into that around the world. So it's quite a nice one. Half of those in the last couple. So, shoulder with the part, pull that tummy in. We take it around. This is where you really need to be careful. If you start to get hot and sweaty, make sure you've got a good grip on that bell. Then keep going. Okay, one more. Pause it, back the other way. What well, is quite a good investment actually, I use quite often is chalk balls. Just to add a bit of chalk to those hands, it gives you that extra grip on the bell, particularly in the summer when it gets even hotter. Bye. They last for ages as well. Lovely. Okay, we're going to do that elbow to knee. So we're going to take that kettlebell, that right position again, nice straight wrist, kettlebell rested on that forearm. The handle is in line with my shoulder. Let's go. So bring it across, bring that knee to meet that elbow. Keep going. Okay, give me two more. And switch. Get that position in first. Don't rush it. And across. My arm is just here for balance. You can do what you like with it. Five. Give those arms a quick stretch, that's quite tough on that upper body. We're going to go to those figure of eight. So again, wider stance for this one, toes turn slightly out, pull that tummy in, protect that back. Down we go. So again, mind those knees. Keep that chest up. Tricky there, I'm not sure that was my ankle or my knee. 15 seconds. Five. Right, close that down. We go to that plank pull through. So remember this one, you can just do plank. If not, you can do it on your knees, passing it through, if you can, up on those toes. Ribs under those shoulders. I've got my feet shoulder at the part, and I'm just dragging it through to the outside of the opposite hand. I'm trying to keep my hips parallel to the ground. It's quite challenging, because I do naturally want to tilt. We're feeling this one, 15 seconds. Ooh. Okay, well done. Into that leaning position, we've got that halo. So remember this one, you can stand up if you do 
find it better for you. I've got my knees hip width apart. I've got the bell facing the ceiling. We're going to do three times in each direction. Two, three, now coming right back to the centre, then back the other way, all the way around. That's it. Three, sit and pause it. Pause it before you go back. Reverse crunch, two wide and heel drops. So feet up, imagine you've got that ball, push to the ceiling, wider stance, tap those heels, then back up. Ready? So towards the ceiling, heel drop wide. And again, push that back into the floor as you bring those legs down. Quite a good one for that lower tummy, this one. So I'm sticking to the floor and squeaking to come up. So it's only a little movement with this push. Brilliant, well done. Okay, glute bridge. So grab that kettlebell, place it on that lower tummy, have those heels quite close to the bottom. The further they are away, you're incorporating more your hamstrings. So towards your bottom, you want to to move. Squeeze, lower it back down. So push to the ceiling and lower it back down. Brilliant. Squeeze, and now lower. So feel that one, again, control it on the way up and the way down. Don't just let that fall back down. Five, three, Okay, we've got those leg lows. So the kettlebell is going up here. So remember this one. Kind of to your back. Heel drops. Straight legs. Single leg. Alternating or you do single, single, double. So lower it down. Again, as soon as that back arches, bring the legs back up. <clears throat> you can add that double as well. So single, single, double, but again, you work up to your level. We're almost there. Super. Right. Are we ready? Sit up, press. Again, if not, you lean slightly back 
and you do those. You follow those arms around. Okay, ready? Last exercise. Let's make it count. Let's give everything. Roll it back down, nice and controlled, lowering that kettlebell to your chest. Quite tough on the upper body, this one. All right, five more seconds. Let's do one more together. One more, up. And relax. Well done, super. I hope you've enjoyed that. 20 minutes working that core. Enjoy the rest of your day. Please make sure that you cool down, either the cool down stretch on my channel or a cool down of your choice. Bye.